right, good morning, everybody. Welcome to another round of Coffee and Questions. What's today's topic? Let's talk about timber that's for sale out at Lowe's. It's what's usually used to make planters and gardens and stuff like that, but we can use it for a lot of other projects. So let me show you the ad and then let's get into the conversation. Why do I think you should consider it? Because it's on sale and it'll be a fun project while we're in this quarantine for family, especially your kids. Get out there in the shop and have some fun. All right, let's change the picture. Let's get right after it. Okay, so here's the ad, $2.50. And what you get is three inch by four inch by eight feet long, pressure treated landscape lumber. Now, this is made out of pine, okay, but it comes in handy for not just planters, but a lot of other projects. Something to consider when you can pick it up this cheaply right now, but uh, I don't know how long the sale will go on for, but for $2.50, it's not a huge sale, but you know, look for an eight feet piece of timber that you can use for projects, it's a good deal. So let me give you a few ideas here. Let me change the picture and I'll flip through a quick slideshow and show you things that you can do, but we'll start off with, well, what does a planter look like? Okay, so here's a picture of a planter, very generic. You can notch it, set one over the other, you know, screw it together and there you go. And you got instant planter. And you can put different things over the top of this. You don't have to leave it that pine color. We'll discuss that in a minute. Let me show you some other, one other planter rather, and then we'll get into some projects. All right, now here's one that somebody did and they've got a fire pit in the middle. Now this isn't for me. I don't have an area big enough to do this. But if you wanted to make the little square planters, you could easy enough just by stacking, you know, the cut timber. And, you know, it's a good idea, okay? But I would caution you about something. In a couple of years, this stuff is going to decay and rot. I don't care what they tell you, it will. Unless you figure out some protective inner lining with it, or, you know, you put like some preserva wood on there. We'll talk about that. It's a product you can buy at Lowe's or some kind of a preservative. Now, it'll last longer, but anything that gets constant moisture like these planters, you know, I'm afraid, you know, I give it two years, maybe three, and, you know, you're going to notice a big decay. So something to consider when you're doing these to put a protective liner in them or do something of that kind. All right, let's change it. Let's get after some other things that you can do with these timber logs. Okay, so here's a close up of one of those planters. You just lay in one over the other. This is not hard to do. And like I said, make sure you use a protective liner though. All right, let's move on. All right, something else to consider is like a lumber rack. Now, uh, if you look at my playlist, you'll see I made one out of metal. I used a MIG welder, angle grinder, all that stuff. The one thing, whether you make it out of wood or you made it out of metal, is I always put casters, wheels, on these because I like to be able to move it around. On mine, I can pull it out to the, well, you know, near the truck, I can load it up and I can pull it back and slide it along the wall. You don't have to do that. It's just a nice little addition if you choose to make something like this. Mm, hey, uh, where did my legs go? All right, so anyway, you can make this chair, okay, and this little end table. These are very easy to make. Now, one thing I would tell you, these two vertical pieces, like where my back is, um, especially the ones on the ends here, you want to tilt this back a little. Don't make this at a perfect 90. It's not comfortable. So make sure you add a little bit of like a tilt to it, a little bit of an angle. But the rest of this, I mean, can be done, like I said, basic tools. I did uh, the one I'm going to show you in a minute out at the club. My neighbor, his son went out there and we had bought a bunch of this timber and we made a chair and I'll show you what it looks like. Now we also made a bench and I'll flip the picture and show you, but keep in mind, like I said, create a little bit of an angle here and it's again, it's all basic tools. You know, you have like a way to cut it. Like let's say you have a circular saw, you got the long screws, you got those while you were out at Lowe's you know, and you have a cordless drill already or a corded drill and, you know, you have a way to, you know, put those screws in. And what I did is I bought a little champ for a bit. It's a, you know, about five bucks, not a big deal. And I was able when I put the screws in to kind of hide them by them going down in the wood a little bit. All right, let's change the picture. Let me talk about what we did do. Here we go. Okay, now this is one that they made out there and they made it a little bit wider. Now you can make it narrow so it's a one person kind of a chair or you can make it a little longer so two people can sit there, which is better. Like uh, not a love seat, but you know, wide enough so two people can sit. Again, take a look at this. You don't want these straight up and down. Now you can do that. They use two by sixes, which is also inexpensive out at Lowe's while you're there. But and it makes a great bench bottom. Now, 
those two by sixes. Anyway, so the back of this, you can see it's almost at a 90. So I would encourage you, you know, cut those at a little bit of an angle so it slants back before you secure them to the two by sixes. Okay, but this is decorative. It looks nice. If you could use something like this, it's simple to make. Okay, let me show you the bench that we made and then we'll do coffee and question part of this and I'll wrap it up. Okay, so off of the web, that's where I got all these pictures. That's where we got our ideas from to make these projects. This is the one that I made. We made it to keep out at the club, where we all get together. And we just more or less use that long timber. And we just use the skill saw. We cut these off, went ahead and we mocked it up and we made it like this. Now, the feet down there, you can see where they have that little angle cut. But I didn't do that. I just left them square. Now, when we were done, what I did, I went over this with a belt sander at the top of that. I don't want anybody getting splinters or anything like that. And I thought it was a little too rough, like you see here in the picture. So went over it with 80 grit belt sander or some kind of sander. You know, it'll take you a little bit longer if you've got random orbital. But I used 80 grit. I went over it. Then I came back across it with 120 grit. Then for the heck of it, we went ahead and I went over it with 150 grit on a random orbital. And I took off all the sharp corners on it and we sanded it up. Now, the other guy at the club, he made one at the same time I was making this one, you know, with a friend. Now, he did his a little differently. So let's talk about the differences because it will answer some of the questions I got asked on the forum. OK, let's talk about his first. Looking at this picture, he made his the same way. When he was done, he did sand it like I, you know, I did, like I was explaining. But he took a burns -o -matic torch and he went over this whole thing and gave it like that rustic look, that burnt look. And then, you know, thinking he would do something in terms of a finish, he used a uh, preserva wood. It's a product. You can buy stuff like that similar at Lowe's. It's got a stain in it. And he went over this whole thing, top, bottom, everywhere. And it gave it like a light brownish tint that's, you know, that's in it to the tone of the wood. So it turned out good. Now he put three coats on it. It looked good and decided no top finishes, nothing like lacquer, polyurethane, you know, in acrylic, any of these sprays, because if it's outside and we live in the desert cities, it gets hot, it's going to screw up that uh, you know, finish. So I'm always in favor when it comes to outdoor furniture of keeping, you know, things on it like stains and oils, because the other thing about it is it's easy to maintain. So that's the way we did his. Now, on mine, what did we do? I sanded it down, like I said, and I just put linseed oil on it, which is cheap. Linseed oil is cheap out at Lowe's. I put two coats. I put the first one on with a brush. I just let the wood keep soaking it in. And after I saw that it wasn't soaking it in so much, I turned around and hand rubbed it off with a cloth. I let it sit for a couple of days, dried out real good. And then I did it one more time. And then I did the same thing. I scrubbed it with a cloth. Then I left it alone. Now, that kind of a finish is going to give it a little bit of an amber tone to that pine wood. I thought it looked pretty good. It's also a finish that's easily to maintain. Every six months, eight months, when it starts looking a little eh, you know, you can turn around, put another coat right over the top of it, and it almost brings it back to life. You know, now it's not a fine piece of furniture that you're going to use inside. So we didn't worry so much about, you know, sanding through the grits and doing some elaborate finish. But makes it a very easy finish. Wood screws, drill, cut off saw. You know, if you've got a chop saw, that's fine. If you don't, circular saw. And just take your time with this. It's a fun project. I'm the Home Handyman. I hope you click subscribe, keep following us, give me a thumbs up. If you know another project, put it in the comment below. Somebody said, hey, what happened to the little raccoon? Yeah, he's still around. I'm changing it up. I'm gonna try the wolf for a little bit. You folks have a great weekend. I hope you consider some of these projects. And remember, it's on sale for $2.50 a length. That's pretty good. All right. I'll see you folks on the next video. Have a great day. Bye-bye.